everyone, I have a super fun video for you guys today. I hate when I say that. Hey everyone, today I wanted to film a winter essentials video and kind of the basics. I think somebody would need to make a capsule wardrobe in winter 2020. These are definitely going to be some basics but also some super trendy pieces that I've been incorporating in my style recently. But before we get into this video, I wanted to say thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video. Saying that makes me feel like a real YouTuber. I've been watching YouTube for basically a decade now and Audible was always one of the brands that every time somebody had a sponsor, I was always right there downloading a new audiobook. So this is really exciting for me. If you guys don't know what Audible is, it's the number one provider of spoken entertainment and audiobooks, ranging from bestsellers, new releases, to celebrity memoirs, languages, business, motivation, and so much more. And now Audible is giving members so much more with the all new Audible Plus catalog. All members have access to this Plus catalog with thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guide fitness and meditation programs, sleep tracks for better rest, and so much more. And that's all included with the membership. Audible members get one free credit each month and you get to use this credit on any title in the entire premium selection and you get to keep it for as long as you want no matter the price. It will also have full access to the Plus catalog and thousands of titles. You can start listening to Audible right now with a 30 day free trial. I highly suggest it, there's literally nothing to lose. I always make sure to check out Audible and find a book before I go on a long road trip or just a long drive. Um, even throughout college, I was driving back and forth from campuses and it was just 20 minutes a day listening to my book and it was a great way to start my classes with just an uplifting kind of book. I actually just finished my most recent audiobook and that was The Defining Decade. I have so many of my friends listening to it right now also on Audible. If you're in your 20s or about to be in your 20s, I highly suggest listening to this book. It is the self-help kind of book without being a self-help book. It really just got me motivated, especially in quarantine still. It feels like our life can be on pause and the defining decade really talks about how your 20s aren't just for sitting around and waiting for things to happen this is the time to start moving and I definitely needed that motivation when I was sitting around in my room playing Animal Crossing all day so I highly recommend it if you want to check out the defining decade or thousands of other titles make sure to visit audible.com slash Laney or just text Laney to 500 500 for your 30 day free trial for Audible. Okay, the first winter closet essential I wanted to talk about, especially in a capsule wardrobe or somewhere in a colder climate, is long underwear. Is it the most luxurious thing to talk about? The cutest, the trendiest? No, but I highly recommend just buying some long underwear. I got mine off Amazon, I think like three years ago. It's the brand TSLA. I will have everything linked down below, but they are so warm. Two years ago in college I worked in like a tickets booth and I was outside in the dead of winter and this long underwear was honestly my saving grace. Not my super puff, not my jackets. I swear you need that skin tight thin layer that's just going to hold in your heat and this is how I get away with dressing dressing the way I do in the winter. I can wear a thinner jacket and if I have my long underwear on, honestly it's a game changer. If you don't have a pair yet, I have like the long leggings and the long sleeve long underwear. I can highly recommend the TSLA brand, but also I know that Uniqlo has like a heat technology kind of thing and I've heard great things about it and they're super affordable. And if you just get them in black, you can wear the leggings as tights or something like that and um, I can't recommend it enough. It's amazing. The next winter closet essential is a pair of leather pants. I think that leather or pleather pants, these are pleather, are an absolute staple in any winter wardrobe. They keep you way warmer than jeans. Am I the only one who feels like jeans make me so cold? 
like my jeans get cold and then my thighs get cold especially if I don't have my long underwear underneath it is not a good time in the winter every pair of leather pants I've gotten if they're just a little nicer quality they normally have like a suede inside so they're so warm this pair is from beginning boutique I'm obsessed with them they are the straight leg like Aritzia I think it's Molina is the style uh, pants but this is a fraction of the price and honestly I can't tell a difference when I'm wearing them they're high-waisted and straight leg so you can really dress these up or down I can't recommend a pair of leather pants enough for the winter time whenever I'm filming my like outfit lookbook videos and I have to wear my leather pants by the end I'm dripping sweat because I'm inside moving around like a crazy person yeah if you live in a warmer climate I don't know how you wear your leather pants and don't sweat like crazy the next thing are a pair of wide leg trousers this pair is from motel rocks and it's this really pretty army green color i have these kind of trousers in like two different beige colors i have black printed checker print there's so many different kinds of these if you're only going to get one I would say depending on your other clothes beige gray or black honestly if you have a pair of leather pants I wouldn't say get a black pair of these but if we're thinking of capsule wardrobe in my closet I would keep just my beige pair or just because I tend to wear warmer colors of opposed to cooler tone colors so if you think you wear more cooler tone silvers and that kind of thing I would say go for a gray but if you wear like gold and warmer tones, I would say go for a beige. It's this kind of burnt rust color. These are from Nasty Gal almost a year ago, I think. So I don't think you can find them on, on Nasty Gal anymore. I will try and find similar pants. But I also have this color that I recently got off NAKD. So I have a feeling that these are still up. But again, I don't need both of these. This is just a lighter, more khaki color. And the reason I love these is because... First of all, they're wide-legged, so when you're wearing your long underwear underneath them, it's super easy to get on and off. It's not like restricting or feels any different than just wearing the wide leg pants. Also, they're just super trendy right now. They look great tucking your boots into them or having them fold over your boots, tennis shoes, whatever. I think it's a great winter staple and something that really easily transitions into the summertime so if you're looking to get more ways than one for wearing your pants I highly suggest wide-legged pants I want to talk about my puffer jackets the other ones downstairs because I literally wear it every single day but I am totally on the bandwagon for the super puff you guys I've never had a warmer jacket than the super puff I have a full video on my super puffs if you want to see that do you have to have a super puff absolutely not but if you live in a super cold climate the puffer jacket is so trendy right now, it goes with absolutely everything. I will wear the glossy one and the matte one with my leather pants. I'll wear them with any of those wide leg trousers and they keep me so warm. I love that they're fashionable. You can layer them if you get them in a little bit of a bigger size over hoodies, over crewnecks, whatever. I love that a puffer jacket is so in right now and I honestly can't think of a time a puffer jacket wasn't in. So for me, investing in a puffer jacket doesn't like offend me or anything because I know I'm gonna wear it forever. There's no reason to get a super puff or a can of the goose or any of those crazy expensive can of goose is insane insane jackets when you live in a warmer climate. You could totally just get a puffer jacket off a more inexpensive website. All of these pieces also I talk about this a lot so sometimes I just feel like a broken record. You can find any of these at the thrift store. They're not crazy. Most of my pieces are from the thrift store. Like the next one I'm gonna talk about. The next thing that I think is essential in a winter capsule wardrobe, a statement jacket. Now, this is where you can have a lot of fun with it because there are so many different kinds of statement jackets. I've shown mine a lot and I think I'm gonna do a full winter jacket collection because I get so many questions about all my jackets and where I get them from. And honestly, my most prized possession jackets are thrifted. So either just from like a Salvation Army Goodwill, whatever by my house, or eBay. <laughs> I talk about eBay all the time, but that's where I find my coolest jackets. When it's winter time, it really doesn't matter what you're wearing underneath your jacket because people don't see that as much. Literally sitting down to film this video, I was like, I have no just like tops for the winter because I'm constantly just wearing a crew neck underneath my crazy fun jackets that really spice up my outfits. That's why I think pants are a lot more important too in the winter time opposed to a pair of jeans or just something really basic if you're going for that look. 
the trends to look out for for winter 2020 jackets I think are patchwork, fur trim, fur jackets, obviously faux fur or secondhand, and leather blazers if you can get away with that in your climate. I can honestly wear a leather jacket in freezing temperatures if I have my long underwear on, a crew neck, and a leather jacket. I'm totally fine, but it seems to me like you guys think I'm crazy when I dress like that. The next two are tops because you can't just not wear tops underneath your jackets. So like I said, the first one are crew necks, and I just have this black crew neck, I have it in brown and I have it in gray and it's honestly all I transition in the winter are these crew necks. I post on my Instagram that I only own one hoodie and everyone was like, you do not, you own so many hoodies and when I think of a hoodie, I mean a, a hoodie. Crew necks. I love my crew necks. I wear them all the time. I really do think a crew neck looks a lot more put together than a hoodie. If you're going to go for one though, I'd say a crew neck just because you can dress it up or down a lot easier than a hoodie. Also, because layering is all the rage right now, with a crew neck you can so easily put under your collared shirts, your turtlenecks, or any of that kind of thing. I just get my crew necks from Hanes. I'll link them down below and I get them in a size XL. Like I was saying, layering things underneath your crew necks. I think the next really important thing in a winter capsule wardrobe are turtlenecks. Now, <laughs> I don't have that many turtlenecks. I think a black and a white turtleneck are perfect for layering underneath jackets and crewnecks because you're still going to see it. It's not like a really pretty printed shirt or something like that. You put your jacket on, you won't ever see it. You'll always see your little turtleneck and they keep you super warm in the winter time. So I just think it's an absolute must. I think turtlenecks too, if you like a chunkier turtleneck that you could also wear on its own, that's like totally up to you and how you want to create your capsule wardrobe. I like just a tighter ribbed turtleneck that I can put underneath tops because I honestly, I never really wear them alone. Okay, next we're going to get into shoes. I have a full video talking about winter and fall shoes on my channel, but I wanted to pick out what I think I would take in my capsule wardrobe, which is honestly so hard. For my capsule wardrobe, I would honestly pick the giant tall Zara boots. I got these this year and they're honestly so comfy and because they go so high up your leg, they keep you so warm. Again, when I'm filming lookbooks and I have these on, I'm sweating. Because all my pants are wide leg, I can put the whole wide leg over the boot or I can tuck it in for a totally different look and I love that. I think that's the whole point of a capsule wardrobe is you want to be able to wear your pieces a bunch of different ways. And with what I'm showing you, there are so many different ways to wear these pieces. Um, I could totally do a full style guide just with these pieces. If you guys want to see that, let me know. A tall pair of leather boots are so cute and I highly suggest if you're looking at them, find one where you really like the bottom. I love this kind of stripey, like, trek kind of bottom because when I do put my pants over it, they still look really cool and funky. So yeah. I love these. And then my other shoe for winter isn't a boot because <laughs> are what I tend to reach for a lot of the time if it's not snowing. And that's a leather sneaker. Um, I got these second hand while well, my brother got them for me. These are my second pair of these shoes and honestly they are my favorite white sneakers in the entire world. They're Air Jordan, they're like swooshless Air Jordan 1s low top. I think that's what they're called. I'll link them down below. I have to text my brother every time somebody asks because I have no idea what these are called. But the reason I say a leather shoe is because they keep your feet warm. Just like the boot, you could get like a rubber boot like this, but your foot is gonna freeze. I went and I was working on the bus and I just had my like Converse on and that rubber toe made my foot frozen. And honestly, having cold feet is like the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> um, that's normally like the only thing that gets cold on me. I'm pretty good about layering. A leather shoe is just absolutely the way to go. And uh, these aren't real leather. These are pleather, but they still keep your foot really warm, especially if you just have like a fuzzy sock on or a thick sock on. Then I want to talk about accessories because honestly accessories are so important to me in the winter time. If you don't have a statement jacket on, you're really not seeing your style pull through all the time. First is a hat. Obviously, you need a hat in the winter time because all the heat leaves from your head. Who would have thought? I have two suggestions and honestly, 
I was always stuck with like just wearing a beanie, throwing on a beanie. And I really don't like beanies that much. Steal my dad's and call it a day, but I never really put the time and effort into finding a beanie I really like. I don't know. I have a big head, so I feel like they just make me look weird. So if you're a beanie girl or boy, obviously go for a beanie. It's so easy. But what I've been loving are the little fuzzy bucket hats. <laughs> I think that these add just so much personality to your whole entire outfit. I got this one off Amazon. I honestly could not find a cheetah print bucket hat that came in like a large for my big head <laughs> so I had to go on Amazon and buy it I think it's so cute it still does keep your head warm and it covers enough of my ears where my ears stay warm too I think it's so cute it just adds so much to an outfit and then also you guys saw I just talked about this one in a princess poly haul and it also fits my head it's a little tighter but it's just like a ribbed fuzzy bucket hat and I'm so obsessed with it and then the next thing is a scarf. I got this scarf I think off ASOS last year also. When I look for a winter scarf though, I want it to be thick. Now I don't want a blanket scarf. This isn't 2010, 2016. I don't know. I think my senior year was when everybody was wearing blanket scarves. And honestly, you can cover I mean, you're going to have a face mask on anyways. You better have a face mask on. But you can still cover your mouth with it and it keeps your face just so much warmer. So warm. Not to mention, they're so cute. And you just look like you tried a lot harder. And the next thing I want to talk about are purses for the winter. I normally don't touch on purses because I'm I'm not really like a purse girl. I don't know like designer or like purse trends really. I feel like I, I can talk about this part. For a winter capsule wardrobe purse, I would stay away from the shoulder baguette bag. Now, I love the shoulder baguette bag for the fall and the summertime because they're so easy, they fit right over your shoulder. When you have a big jacket on, or puffer jacket, it just doesn't stay. And sometimes when I'm all bundled up, I feel like a marshmallow and I can't physically hold this on my shoulder. Does that make sense to anybody? So for winter time, I suggest sticking to a longer strap. This doesn't mean it has to be crossbody. This one can go both crossbody and just on my shoulder. It's from Rebecca Minkoff. Uh, I really like that look of a tighter crossbody, so it gets a lot tighter when I do have my puffer on. But also having it on one shoulder, it just stays with the longer strap. And then the next purse, I get so many questions about this purse. I got it off Depop. It's a Harley Davidson, just like black, really structured leather tote. I just wear it on one shoulder and it stays on your um, shoulder even when you do have a bunch of fabric around your arm. Does that make sense to you guys? The next accessory that I think is so important are these corset thick belts. So the reason I love these is because if you're wearing a coat and you really feel like you're losing your figure, you tie one of these or belt one of these around your waist and not only does it completely change your outfit, but it also gives you a little bit of that figure that you might be missing. I think that these belts are so important in a capsule wardrobe because they do exactly what you're trying to do. You wear one piece a bunch of different ways. Obviously you could wear those under jackets also and just cinch in a sweater or something else you're wearing, a t-shirt, whatever. But I really like the look of putting it over a really bulky jacket, especially a longer one and cinching it in. I think it is such a cute look. I've been doing it all the time recently. It really does make me feel like I have a totally different jacket on than I do. I think the leather on leather is super cute as well as a printed jacket or something that doesn't match. And that's it for my winter capsule wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I talked a lot and kind of talked in circles, so I'm really sorry if this didn't make sense. Make sure to let me know if you guys would want to see these pieces styled a bunch of different ways because I could definitely do that for you guys. With that, make sure to check out Audible. Remember, it's audible.com slash Lainey or text Lainey to 500-500 for a 30-day free trial for Audible. I couldn't recommend it enough. And with that, I think that's the end. Why do I feel like I talk so much? I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I love you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in a few days.